Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be doing another top guides or top tweaks. I still haven't thought of a name for it, but today we're going to be checking out a program called Bash Top. So let's get started. Before we begin, I do want to thank my sponsor for this video, which is Ridge Wallet. This is one of the easiest ad reads I ever have to do because I truly believe in their product. I've been using the product for the past year and have not had a problem with it. It's minimal design allows you to fit up to 12 cards in that wallet and you can switch between having a money clip or a money band or you could just remove everything altogether. No longer do you have to worry about having that bulge in your back pocket. It is a very small and sleek design. I also even went as far as 3D printing this little piece so I could hide a secret compartment inside the wallet. And you can choose from multiple colors and or material. Not only that, they're actually offering you guys a 10% off by using the code NOVASPIRIT or clicking on the link ridgewallet.com slash NOVASPIRIT. Let's get back to our video. So there have been a lot of system monitors throughout the years for CLI applications and I use it a lot of times when I'm checking on my computer or on my server. Now one of the most popular ones is probably top because it comes default with the system and I usually use HTOP because it colorizes it and it kind of makes it look a little bit prettier. Now there's also Nmon that also does network monitoring as well as CPU monitoring as soon as you put in the hotkeys and everything. But my favorite is GTOP for the longest time. It's really pretty. It gives you like all these graphical things and it gives you processes and network and disk usage. Now the newest one that we're going to be talking about is BashTop. And I think it actually looks and operates better than GTOP. So let's check it out. I'm going to leave a link down in the description to the GitHub, but it's very easy to install. You do need a couple of things. So let's scroll down this a little bit. Uh, it does have features like theming and some Python ports that's upcoming. It, it's really pretty. Let me show you. Now first, as far as dependencies, you need to have bash, core utils, and sed. So let's make sure we have all that. sudo app install core utils and sed. And we should have them, yeah. It's pre-installed in the system. Now I'm gonna go into my downloads folder and I'm gonna git this. So let me see if I have git. Nope, sudo app install git and hit yes. So I could get this repository or technically you could have just downloaded the zip file. So I'm gonna copy this and git clone, pre-typing it. Now that I grabbed it, I'm gonna go to bash top. And the program is actually compiled. You could should be able to run it right off the directory. There you go. And look how pretty this is. Now, if you wanna install it into your system, all you have to do is make install and it should be in, able to install it into your system. But look, not only do I get all my cores, because this is uh, 1700, so I get all the cores and the threads. You also get the temperature for it. You get the CPU monitoring right over here. Let me minimize the browser and maximize this. And you could see it's got the memory usage in a very pretty color. It's got the root um, storage and EFI. And if you got something mounted on here, it'll actually show it as well. And if you take a look at these little, it's like a little gray filter right here, like F is grayed out. Those are the hotkeys that you could press. So by moving up and down, you actually get to the process. And if I wanted to kill something, right, which I have really nothing to, oh, maybe Firefox I could kill. Hit enter and it'll show you that specific application, how much CPU usage it is. And you could just hit kill or terminate up on top right over here which is really really cool hit enter again to close what's cool about this bash top is the ability to theme so if you hit m you go into the options and you could actually theme i only have one theme in here you could color theme how everything looks as well as setting up what you want to see so currently i have everything right i'm showing the processes i'm showing cpu i'm showing uh, the network monitor and everything you could actually go into here and change how you want certain things to be displayed and uh, t update times and everything. So this is very customizable on top of how pretty it looks. Now, if I was to go into help, it'll actually give me all the hotkeys, but it's not too hard to uh, figure out what the hotkeys are by just looking on the top and see what you need. Now, I do like the fade because as I'm going down, you see how it's like the top is fading. 
so I think it's really, really cool. But honestly, I, I don't think it helps me at all because I can't see the bottom processes and it's like kind of blurred out to me. But otherwise, it is really cool. Now, if I wanted to change the net, I could just hit N. Now I'm looking at my loopback device, change it again. Now I'm at my uh, bridge and then now I'm back at my ethernet. I don't know. I just thought this was a really cool program to show you guys. And if you guys are the type to use system monitors like this or HTOP and stuff like that, you might really like to use this. Now, according to them, you should be able to app get this in the future, which is app get install batch top on the 2010 release. But for now, I really, really like this. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts about this. Hit it down in the comments below if you guys enjoy this type of content. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say, my nerd cave, Hack till it hurts.